Hello, this is Carlton with Carlton's Travel Adventures. I'm going to talk about the coffee triangle. And the first stop is Pereira. So let's run into Pereira. It's about four hours by bus, but it took us about six hours due to construction. Uh, I would say if you can avoid taking a bus ride and if you can afford the uh, airfare, just go ahead and take the, take the, uh, take the, uh, the, the airplane. It's a lot faster um, and a lot more convenient, you know. The bus is also nice because you get a, a chance to see the countryside. As you travel around from Pereira and um, you know, to Manzales and so forth, one thing I love is the countryside. The landscape is just so beautiful. I mean, the hills and valleys, they, have even, they plant the coffee on the hills. Like, it's always amazed how you plant the coffee in a hill like that, how you take care of it. But it's amazing. the countryside is amazing to see. And some, sometimes you have these thinkers on top of these hills, you wonder, how the hell did they get up there, you know? <laughs> I'm sure it's a, a motor or something like that. You know, but it's, it's, it's beautiful when you're up there looking over the valley. So, I mean, I, I get it, you know. I wouldn't want to live up there myself, but it's, it's, it's nice to see. Now, Pineda, let's talk about Pineda. The, um, the population as of 2017 was about, and within the city, about 474,000 people within the city. And the entire metro area was about 710,000 people. Just under a million people. A smaller city, you know, which is cool, not as big as, uh, as Medellin, all right? It was founded in 1863, okay? And elevation is 4,628 feet. Some little background here so you know what you're talking about, okay? And average high temperature is about 80 degrees. Average low is about 63. I think the record high is about 98. Record low is about 50. So it's not too too hot and not too too cold. 98 is okay. I mean it's not like it's 105 or something. Alright? Now the city itself, very vibrant downtown, a lot of stuff happening every every in, in the city. The nice parks. Um, the park called uh, Boulevard or Bolivar. Um, you have Independent Park, you have Victoria Park, and some nice um, malls. Uh, museums, all that stuff. There's also a famous place you can go to. Uh, we have the hot springs. But let me focus on one thing real quickly. When I first got there, looking for a place to eat, a nice restaurant. And I'm telling you, I couldn't find a nice restaurant. Um, I saw a lot of bakeries. A lot of bakeries. They love bakeries, man. <laughs> Tons of them. And ice cream places. I finally found this cop and he showed me to this one restaurant, which was pretty cool. I had lunch was 7,500 pesos. It wasn't just a, a, a poor quality, it was excellent quality for 7,500 pesos. You know, it was, was good. Give a 1,500 pesos tip, you know. And so you're talking about 9,000 pesos for a nice meal that actually was full, including a, um, I didn't want any, any soup, including a drink. So it was pretty good. And it's actually pretty, pretty good food. And notice one thing, um, as you go through the three area, the area they have uh, hot sauce. Yes, I don't see hot sauce normally around here in Medellin, but they have hot sauce there everywhere I go. It's on the table. It's called Aji, A J I. Okay, some some restaurants have their own when they make up, and some have the bottle. Okay, which is pretty cool, you know. Um, now I'm gonna show you uh, one spot I went to. It's it's uh, it's called Parque Cansota, right? Spent a lot of time there because I like parks. It's not like an amusement park. It's not really an amusement park. Uh, there's no amusement rides per se, but it's a huge, a huge, huge area. It has about five or six pools. It has a bowling alley, it has a, a building with tennis table, table tennis, and a place where you can go rock climbing. You know, uh, it's just a, a two lakes where you can do paddle, paddle paddle boats and like an, almost like a zoo there, uh, a place where they, they sample uh, uh, coffee beans where it got burnt really bad by a cup of coffee and I went in later were given samples of coffee and obviously I got a sample, I don't even drink coffee by the way, I, but I had a sample of coffee and she just gave it to me it was like cold and hot, you know, because I had my camera in one hand and I had no idea what to do with it, I, I wanted to drop it so bad, it was so hot I wanted to drop it. And I'd run around trying to find something to put it, drop it on this 
nice table, kind of old wooden table, and guy kind of spilled it, and like looking at me, like they kind of smiled because I had no idea it was so scalding hot, <laughs> burned the hell out of me. So I put it down, and I tasted a little bit, you know, after a few minutes, and it was really good coffee. You know, I'm not drinking coffee, but this was really good coffee. And the spot where they had coffee beans being grown, and they had, like I said, like a, uh, like it was like a farm, different animals and so forth. Interesting thing happened, which was cool. Well, not cool, but I learned something from this. Well, a couple of things happened. Let me tell you the first one. There was a family there, you know, husband, my husband, wife, and a kid. And this girl's about 15 or so. She spoke a little English. So the parents were, you know, I was talking to her. And she would translate to the parents. And we went, she walked with us the entire area. And uh, as I leave some areas into where the animals are, you have to walk through this place where they kind of disinfect you. But, you know, pesticide, I guess, because of the animals. I thought it was, once I thought, it's raining out there. You realize, they said, no, it's not raining. They actually sprayed you with stuff. I put my umbrella on, you know. <laughs> Probably a bad thing to do. But they had to get you disinfected. That happened twice, two spots. So we're going through it, talking to her and so forth. Even that aquarium in there, which is aquarium was nice. But we want this one spot where they had rabbits, right? And, and like, on the floor, on both sides. And I saw where the girl, she kind of ran real quick through the ear of rabbits. And I said, she's scared of rabbits? And the father said, no, no, she has allergy, allergy. And I spoke to the girl after that. She said, no, I'm allergic, allergic to rabbits. I said, but yeah, you're not picking them up. They're, you know, on the floor, you know, away from you. She said, no, no. If I get close to rabbits, I get allergy. And she started showing me within two, three minutes after she passed through the ear, just passed through it. So I showed me. She said, well, start coming up her hands. She starts scratching her hands, you know, and this got start little welts, little bumps are coming. I said, that's crazy. You just pass through it. You wouldn't even, you didn't even touch them. What did you, you know, pick them up? She said, no, it doesn't matter. So that far from the rabbit, she started getting the allergies and she starts scratching like crazy and her hands start starting to swell up. I said, holy crap. That's the first time I've seen that, you know, which is, which is crazy. You know, so we had a good time going through talking. You know, I, I made I mispronounced. I said, yeah, the llamas. I said, llamas. So no, they're llamas, not llamas. I said, okay, cool. You know, so it was pretty, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool spot. And that after came out the zoo, a spot where they had uh, lunch. So I had to stop and get my ayeko, my uh, kind of like sancocho soup. Was pretty cool. Um, loved it. You know, I love anywhere you sell sancocho or ayeko. I drink it, I love soups, like that chicken soup, you know. So did all that. One other thing I want to bring, talk to you about, oh, they had a big lake, you know, where they had, well, actually two lakes people were fishing in. You pay and get your little uh, thing to fish. And they actually had fish in there. You see the fish in there. And they said they had big uh, carps, this big, and some other fish. Guys should have got, met some two young guys that they were fishing. See, they've, they've caught carp this big, you know. An old lady fishing in, we talked for a long time with this old lady. He said, no, they picked the, the, uh, the bait off too quickly because the small ones are on the side. The big ones are in the middle. You can see them, some good-sized carps and other fish. She said, about six types of fish were in that lake, you know. Um, so if you can get further out, you can get the bigger ones, you know. You can see them in there, which is cool. Also had um, an indigenous Indian village. They had a tour every hour, went through that. Pretty cool, a lot of pictures. About a ton of pictures. But let's focus on one thing. Before I show you a picture of, uh, of actual downtown and around um, uh, Pereira, I, I rented a, um, uh, a taxi. A friend of mine knew this guy that spoke English, taxi driver, showed me all around the city and the outskirts along the river and so forth. Beautiful, 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 you know. And some neighborhoods, neighborhoods were upscale, doctors, lawyers, houses were going for like 500 million pesos. Uh, and some, some other spots where houses were, you know, mid frame was going to 200, 300 million pesos. So it's, there's some nice neighborhoods here. Nice neighborhoods here. Really nice. Okay. Uh, one experience I had in that uh, park at Consota, when I went into the, uh, the uh, bowling alley place, you know, I, I, I walked in at about eight lanes. It looked like a league was bowling. So I took the, my camera, did videos of the uh, guys bowling, people bowling, mostly guys, some ladies. And I'm doing it, so I stopped looking at it. This guy 
is looking at me, he comes over to me, right? And didn't look very happy. And he says, you're taking video of me. I'm like, uh, no, I'm taking video of the back of everyone. I mean, you're facing that way. I'm taking video of the bowling alley to show my views. So I'm, I'm a YouTuber. He goes, let me see it. So I said, okay, no problem. I figured this guy hiding out or something, you know, or is he some kind of well-known politician or well-known, you know, bad guy? I don't know. So I'm respect him. I said, whatever. Sure, man, look at it. So I showed it to him on the camera. I played it to him. So it's only the background. He said, I said, it's okay. You want me to erase it? Uh, he said, no, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I said, all right. So he went back and kept bowling. So when he was almost finished bowling, he's pretty good, a lot of strikes, you know. Uh, he came, I, I, I called him over, I said, he spoke English. I said, can I talk to you a second? You know, I want to know more about what the issue was. He said, are you some kind of politician? You don't want to be on camera? I said, what's the issue? You want me to erase it? He said, no, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good. I said, but you're concerned? He said, no, no, don't worry about it. You're good, you're good, man, you're good. It's, it's no problem, it's no problem. And it was very friendly. He started English, I said. He said, where am I from? I said, I'm from, I'm born in Jamaica. I lived in the States for a while. I said, look, I love Jamaica, I love Jamaica. It was my, uh, my honeymoon was in Jamaica, 31 years ago. I said, you're still married? Yeah, and so you're loosened up, we're, we're talking, having fun, you know, he's really relaxed. And it was cool, real cool, you know. But he said, it's no problem, it's good, you're good, no problem. So he just brought it down to a nice level, nice. He said, you want me to keep it? He said, keep it. It's no problem. Keep it. You know, so I don't know. You know, maybe some people just don't want to be on camera, but I could see his face. He saw it, you know, but it wasn't like on him personally, but I just went over the, the crowd and he was bowling. So I'm going to show. He doesn't seem to have a problem with it. So I don't know sure what the deal was and who he is. But anyway, that's the only thing I noticed. But let me show you uh, pictures of Parker Consulta uh, right now before I go into other pictures of actual Pereira downtown, okay? Here it goes, Parque Consulta. So the mission to the park is 16,100 pesos. Um, uh, he says particular, I'm not sure what particular means, but um, I guess it's adult something, particular. So that's what it is. I got my thing here, so I'm gonna head in and let you know. Take some sh shots of uh, hopefully have a beautiful day in here. Looks pretty nice. So I'm heading in right now to the mission. Hola. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Yeah. That's it. I'm in. Yeah, so let's figure this out in a minute, all right? Before I start taping. So, here I'm at the park. It's pretty huge. I, just, I didn't get a map either at the entrance. You just give me a map in the US, tell you where to go and what the different sites are. Didn't get one. So, I'm going to feel it out myself and see what the deal is, all right? This place is for coffee tasting, I think. I don't drink coffee, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So what it's like here, it's uh, free coffee tasting. Hola, buen día. ¿Qué es this, coffee? Ah, coffee special or? Coffee de la granja de Oh, okay. Gracias, gracias. Ah. That's it. Here's a coffee from Contigo. It's hot as shit. And I don't drink coffee. Ah. Fuck, it's hot. Wow. It's hot as shit. Burn the hell out of me. Hey, drop it. Drop it. It is hot as shit. Sorry, my French. It is hot. She told me it was so hot. I wouldn't even drink it either. So these are all coffee fields, I guess, coffee beans being grown. There was a coffee tasting earlier where I burned the hell out of my hand. She didn't tell me it was so hot. 
and I just put it right in my hand. It's just a small cup, and it burnt the hell out of me. I dropped it on a table and spilled it. People were looking at me and laughing. Uh, it was just kind of funny. I didn't know it was so hot. It was just cold and hot. It's a coffee right there, all over here. Where they make their coffee, they grow the coffee beans. Probably make it uh, right there too. So, coffee fields. So this part is a park where you walk for the animals. Some horses here, I think. Ponies. More ponies there. It's a cloudy day, so sorry. Over there's chickens, you probably can't. Oh yeah, you can see them, chickens. So I'm gonna walk up here. Take clips little by little. It's a circle. I went to the wrong end before. I was going in the exit. You're looking at me strange. Dumb American. <laughs> but now I got it right. Take them walking some clips. Lemon, crack orange trees. Oh, lemon. Ta Tahiti lemon trees. Bunch of fruits on them too. Okay, all right. Let me. Uh, there is a jamas. I made a mistake of saying llama. They corrected me. It's jamas. They, they spit on you if they don't like you. They eat them in Peru, I think. See? Llamas. Not llamas. Jamas. Another area here. The flowers. Coming up. Cebolla, onions, I think that's, I don't know, garlic? I don't know. Oregano. Oh, it's enough of this stuff. Koi pond. Some giant koi. Koi. Told me no flash. So I got I gotta tell you guys this. I just came from the bowling alley, right? So I had my camera, not on camera. Taking uh, shots of the bowling alley in vi video, right? No big deal. And then uh, saw this guy looking at me, old guy looking at me. So you know, no big deal. He comes over to me and say, so "Taking pictures of of me." I said, "No, the entire entire uh, you know bowling lane." He said, "Let me see the camera." Nice about it. He got my. I, I told it. I always respect what they want. You know, I don't know who's there. Could be a general. Could be a police chief. I don't know. Who that could be? So I'm always sensitive with that. So I showed him the camera, um, you know, I showed him the picture. He said, "Okay." So it was a, I took a panoramic view of the entire bowling alley, right? Not just him particularly, but he was a pretty good bowler. And I, and then I said, "Is that okay?" And he said, "Okay, it's okay." He took a picture of the entire bowling alley, not just him, I guess. So I'm not sure who he is. It could be some somebody important. I have no idea. But you gotta be careful when you travel. Sometimes you get the wrong picture of the wrong person. Who knows, you know, so that was kind of different. Uh, so then I, he kept bowling. He bowled a strike. He was pretty good. So he came back over. I called him over after a minute when he finished bowling his game. And I talked to him and said, you speak English? So he has to speak English. I said, uh, did I offend you? I mean, what? He said, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I said, D you don't want a photo? He said, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. So I don't know. It, it changed on me again. So I don't know. It's a big deal or not. I got most of the backs. Then he asked him where I was from. You know, he said he went to Jamaica. We got married there 31 years ago. Then he was real cool after that. So, who knows, man? Different experience. When you travel, you gotta be prepared for anything. Sensitive to any, any kind of person's need, you know? So, like a big lake. Like a lady, look, she's fishing. I think she's fishing. I gotta check this out. 
What does that say? Uh, you guys can read that. Acate los normas de seguridad es por su seguridad. Es por seguridad. I don't know. For your security? Something for your security. Some kind of lake. Obviously, I mean, sorry, I make a, maybe it's fishing. Oh, I see some fish in here. What it is though? Maybe it's trout fishing. Let's see. This is huge, man. More bathrooms. Okay. Oh, he's fishing too. Over there. Yeah. So mine is a fishing lake here. Ask the lady inside, what did they catch here, you know? Didn't look like uh, too much. She said, no, no, it's full of fish. There's big carp to eight pounds, I guess. And um, I, see, I see them too. I actually see them in the water. Nice size fish. So you rent the poles and get your bait and you go fishing, man. It's pretty cool. A couple, couple of uh, people are fishing right there. Over there, if you can see them. Um, it's nice, nice. You can look real carefully, you see a lot of fish. You look, but you have to look real carefully. I see them in there. I said one is a mahara. Not sure what a mahara is. And uh, carp, it's a big carp. And all that to eight pounds. Wow, I see the fish in here. I'm taking another shot close up to if you can see them. This is a chicken. You thought it was a baby, but it's not a baby. It has eggs under her. You probably can't see very well. Look real carefully, you'll see the eggs under it. See, sí. huevos. Eggs, see. Sí. Huevos, there. Yeah. Eggs. It's a full grown, full grown chicken. Looks really weird. Now we got little piglets. Bring a little pig there. Venga, venga, pues, venga, que lo mire. Venga. Some mm -hmm. others over here. Oh, this one's got colors on it. There's a little picky picky. Right there. Right in your face. Oh, they're cute. La alimentación, si así va a ser concentrada. Si 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 va a I won't try it now. There's another pool over there. A couple of pools. I'm taking, I'm taking photos of pools. I think I'm taking pictures of, of kids, so I always avoid taking photos of pools, you know? Ultra careful. Look at all this bamboo over there. A lot of bamboo tr trees. A lot of bamboo trees over there. Beautiful. I love bamboos. Need some pandas, some more flowers over there. That's cool. Pool down here. Another big pool over there. It's a giant pool over there. Yeah, big pool. Hanging out. So it's, it's about one o'clock and uh, I'm getting a little hungry. So I finished the, uh, the farm area, so now I'm gonna get some food to eat here. I saw Sancocha and Ayeko, are two of my favorites. I like to eat uh, the soup, chicken soup, so I'm gonna have some right now. But I made a big mistake, I didn't bring my backpack. I uh, bought an umbrella, but no backpack, so we should have a backpack. But otherwise, it's all good. 
check out the, the Sancocho Ayeko. Alright, we go eat. Talk to you later. So my Ayeko came, finally came. I had some uh, lunch here. I told them I didn't want any any, any sweet um, cream in it. They put cream in the soup, I don't like it, the white cream. So I had to take it back and uh, change it for me. So here it is right now. All right, it comes with rice and uh, uh, salad next to it, okay? And then go try it out and see what it's like. Different color than I'm used to. You should, you still have in this, uh, Lighter color. This is like a different color. I'm not sure it's because of the area I'm in. I don't know, but not the same color I'm used to. Big lake here with some uh, boats on them. Pedal boats. This place is huge. There's a spot over here with a. About 10 different soccer fields the kids are playing. Circle back to that later on. Look at that came. This place is huge. Now I'm going to a tour of indigenous village in the group. So I'll, I'll get some videos as I go through it for you guys, all right? Hang tight. Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. la Sierra Nevada. So it's uh, about 3.15, I've had enough of this park. I don't think I saw everything, really. I should have gotten a map, but I walked a lot. Over three hours, saw a lot of stuff, but I don't think I saw everything. It's so huge. But I gotta head back before dark and uh, maybe do something tonight, Saturday night. But uh, thanks for joining me on this trip. Let's check out the park, Kansota. All right, and I'll see you guys later.